Hello, let's continue the special function series. Today, we will work on the asymptotic behavior of gamma function. And finally, we will derive the Stirling's formula. They are very useful to solve the limits and integrals in our future's video. By the way, we will set three results from my previous videos. And I put the links under this video. So let's get started. Here is a definition of gamma function. Record the property we covered from last episode. Next, we make a substitution. We define x in this way. When x goes to 0, t goes to minus square root z. Then we do the derivative to find dx. Plug in the substitution. The lower limit is converted here. We write this exponential term in this way. For this term, we take the factor z out. Then we write in this form. Plug in and we got here. Next, we take these three terms out of the integral. We divide this term on both sides. Note for the integrand function, we write in this way. I copy it here. We take the limit on both sides. Here, we use the dominated convergence theorem. So we can put the limit inside the integral. Next, we need to compute this limit. Record the result we derived in the previous video. Here we set a equals t and x equals square root z. So we got this very important limit. Plug in and we got here. Record the general form we derived for Gaussian integral. So it equals square root 2 pi. I copy it here. Then we divide square root 2 pi on both sides. I copy them here. We use the definition of asymptotic equality. Two functions are asymptotically equal if the limit of their ratio equals 1 when z approaches to infinity. If we look at the numerator and the denominator, by definition, they are asymptotically equal. And we got here. Finally, we use this property. So we are done for Sterling's formula. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.